Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. Today, we are looking at the brand new All Madden legend, Steve Young. I'm actually really excited for today's gameplay because I feel like for the first time since the beginning of the year, we don't know much about this card. And you know, with guys like Barry and Devin Hester, we kind of already have an idea of what these cards are gonna play like. Don't worry, those gameplays will be dropping tomorrow, but we already have a pretty good idea of what, the, of what those cards are gonna be. We don't know what Steve Young's gonna be, mainly because of that release. His release is Traditional 3, which is a release that we haven't seen yet. It's not on Mutt GG yet. It's not even on their ranking. So I have no idea how good it's gonna be or how bad it's gonna be. Steve Young, though, is a lefty. Do keep that in mind. If you're someone that's not good with lefties in past Maddens, he might not be for you. I'm used to using lefties, so I should be okay. If I do struggle, it's probably because I'm just washed up at the game. That's probably what it is. But the stats are amazing on Steve Young. The abilities are good if you like pass lead. So with pass lead, he does join John Elway for the only other player in the game with this ability. It's basically just set feet, but your feet don't have to be set. That's basically what it is. I do wish we had a gunslinger option here with pass lead as well, but he, he does get, you know, one AP gunslinger here and two AP fearless. And I feel like with where the defensive meta is going right now, you're going to want to run fearless with a bunch of one AP, zero AP under pressures, edge threat elites, you know, coming out with the Micah Parsons card today. You're going to want to run fearless to try to negate encounter those under pressure slash edge threat elite abilities so i think fearless is definitely a must have right now like really really is but here are the rest of the abilities and of course steve young our man does get san francisco and buccaneers chems but he'll top into the gameplay and let's see what the brand new all madden steve young can do today all right here we go we got game number one there is my top three and of course if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications this man has a dallas team so should be a good one and he has the brand new michael parsons probably with edge threat elite but we have fearless so we should i mean if he hits us we're not okay but <laughs> we'll see how this goes man i don't know here we go i think he's already got a guy out there pretty pretty well so um that's gonna be good he's already he's gonna do it again i guarantee it and what we should have we're gonna, he's gonna cover two as well, which is actually really good too. So we're gonna go with Mountain Spot. And what we want is we're gonna either have Keith Byers right at the middle of the field, or we're gonna have the corner out. So let's go, I probably should, I gotta, I gotta put in Kyle Pitts, I gotta remember. Let's be a different defense though. I don't see, is Devin White's not out there right now, which is interesting, but let's see, let's see how he plays this. Okay, and we should have a sideline. That ball got there quickly, and I guess that's just what pass lead elite does. I, I also like the Tyree clear out there. So let's see if we can get one of them open. Maybe, maybe one of them will get open. None of them are open. Steve Young has the wheels, as we know. Micah's on him. Slide, and we do take a hit. But good carrying. He really shouldn't fumble that much. But you see, like, for example, this guy's defense, under pressures and edge threat elites. So that's what you got to look out for. That's what Fearless is going to completely get rid of. And we want to get outside here with Steve. I get some good blocking. I'm just going to slide. Not going to take any stupid hits. Not going to try to do too much. Just go ahead and sit down. Two rushes for 24. And there we go. We should be able to get that ball out pretty easily. Up the sideline, really good rack animation. And that's going to be a touchdown. Steve Young got it done with the legs, threw one corner out. And was that all the yards we got that drive? Also, obviously, the swing route, stuff like that. Okay, let's get into our Who Would I Rather segment. Getting started here with John Elway. Obviously, John Elway is number one. I'm going to go Steve Young over Derek Carr. I'm going to go McNair over Steve Young. I think McNair is number two. I think... I think number two and three can be flipped between Steve Young and Air McNair. I really like this Steve Young card. I do record this segment after the games are finished and I put it into the middle of the video, but I really do like this Steve Young card. There's maybe one throw where I'm like, I don't know about it. But outside of that, the card really did play amazing short to mid, can do everything. The stats are great. I'm going to go Steve Young, Steve Young. Like I said, I really think Steve Young is number three right now or number two, depending on preference. But the abilities are good. Stats are good and can literally just do everything. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go Steve over basically all these guys, but McNair and Elway. Oh my goodness. Jason wins moving like that. Yo. Throws it right at me. We get a nice interception. There we go. Beautiful. Um, that was a different, completely different defense. I mean, that was the same defense, but I set it up a little bit differently. I think it may have actually thrown them off, to be honest. That, I think that actually worked. Come on, Plax. Plax can get open. Good pass. Can we get a field? 
and third and 12 i'm gonna go for this i i ran in a huddle on accident i think i still gotta get a read here i think i can probably still make a play right because we got yeah, let's give it a try here we go he's gonna be all over it should have pitch open and we don't get it out there's michael parsons for him making a play off the edge all right okay, what, what i want to do is i wanted to skies cover four here which i hopefully did well over the middle that's a good ball okay i didn't really do that i think he even if that was cover four i think he still would have been open just because the seams and stuff and have the swing obviously and let's try to get one of these guys open and we should have Kyle Pitts open sideline gonna go ahead and get it there for a first down Steve Young I'm dude this this release that short to mid release is actually really good he clicks off we should have Pitts again yep get out of bounds this time there we go Kyle I mean that's gonna be easy all day for us if he's gonna stay in that man coverage we'll just keep throwing it and now what we should have is oh low key third way third way third way how oh, we couldn't get it away I just took one of the worst sacks ever and let's see if we can get something cooking on the outside now over the middle we should have that good window right there and a broken tackle I don't have a red zone thread, but I'm going to call timeout here. It's a high ball to B-Marsh over the top. B-Marsh make a play. Beautiful throw right there from Steve Young. Good drive. Took a pretty big sack, but fought back and did end with six. He really, I came out in pre and he really got in the field goal range. There's really just no way that we didn't touch him there. Oh, here we go. Let's see where he's at. RB get out of the backfield. And yeah, that was slow. That release was slow getting out there. And it was just a pick, too. I mean, that was. Let's hope we can get B Marsh someone open here. And oh my goodness, bro. Okay, here we go. Let's see if he bites on it or not. He's not going to it. I gotta, I gotta block quick. Kyle Pitts makes the play. Beautiful. Get it out of the backfield quick. Skip. Oh, I, that's, that was not, I did not skip. Did not skip at all. Just could have had way more yardage. All right, here we go. Let's see what the read is here. He's going to be on that outside guy, right? He's going to be on him, I believe. He wasn't. Throw it out again. Get it out there again. There's Fearless once again. Beautiful. Win the tackle battle. Okay. We got to get this ball out quick right now. I mean, we only, dude, 13 for 16, 200 isn't bad. I just, that one, that one play just leaves a bad taste in my mouth right now. Get that out. We should have that open. I tried the swerve and another nice gain right there for Steve Young. Um, clean pocket. We're doing good in the clean pocket. Very effective. There we go. That's how we got to run it, man. Because these blitzes, dude. We're down 10 with two minutes left. We got to get in this end zone. Nothing's open besides Y, really. And we get a knockout. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. What I want is Tyreek here. Believe it or not. The pressure is going to get there. Tyreek! Oh, my goodness. Yo. Yo. That was kind of a top from Steve. Wow. If I didn't give him that three before half, it's a tie game right now as well. And if I didn't give him a short field. And if I didn't throw a pick. I mean, we could have won this game. I, I'm not going to put it all on myself. You know, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I'm not. I'm not. When we were, when we were, when we had good drives, we had some. Good, I should have called onside kick, and now we lost the game.